Oh, you're right. So, um, it's been a while since I made a video. I stopped making them because um, I didn't want to make videos on things that were easily, that you could easily find in the forum or on Google. So, I stopped doing them for a bit. But now I'm working on an Android app and um, I've been having to look for a few things myself. Like, I didn't really understand the image resolutions, the action bar and all this sort of stuff. So, what I thought I'd do is I'd do a selection of videos going through all this Android stuff that I didn't know and that I had to look for the answers for. So anyway, so what I'm going to do first is the first issue I had was the SDKs. So mine were out of date. So I went to Titanium to update them and it had changed a bit with the way it updates. So I'll just show you. I've got it open. So you click update Android SDK. It's got these checkboxes and you just click configure and it sort of doesn't, it automatically sorts out itself. But I don't know if this was my issue, but I would run the emulator and then I'd come back into here because the emulator would fail. I'd come back into here and I'd have a red cross again here and I'd click it and it, I'd have to reinstall the SDKs, try it again, come back and I'd have to keep doing it. So what I did was I completely uninstalled everything, titanium, everything to do with titanium. And what I'll do is I'll put a link, actually, to a blog post of, that I followed to make sure I uninstalled everything correctly. So I did that, and then I needed to, I needed, then I needed to in install everything. I wanted to make sure that I did it right. So what I did is I went on to the developer.android.com, and I downloaded the SDK here. And what you get is you get Eclipse, and you get the Android SDK ma Manager, I think it's called. So, I'll show you that. So, from here, because in Titanium, you used to have the SDK manager, and then for some reason that's gone now, and you have those checkboxes, but what I did is I went into Eclipse, and you go into Window, and you can see it here, Android SDK manager. You click on that, <coughs> and then here, this was what Titanium used to have. But I don't know why they've got rid of it, but what I did anyway is after my fresh install of um, Studio, I installed Eclipse and then I opened the SDK manager that I've got here, selected everything and installed it all from here. Then I just made sure that the path to the SDK matched here and then it was all fine. So, I mean, it, it was a bit of a, a nightmare, but I would, I would suggest to anyone, download Eclipse from the official page, I'll have the link in the description, and just download the SDKs through that SDK manager. Save, it saved me a lot of hassle anyway, because I don't know what was going on, it wasn't good though, but yes, yeah, so that was just a quick little, quick little segue there. But um, yeah, so one thing I did find helpful was if you come to Terminal on a Mac and put TI Setup, here you get a list of options, press 2, and this checks your titanium environment. And what you get is you get ticks or crosses for everything that should be set up. So if you look here, it's all ticked. A few things to note, um, when I came in here to begin with, when I was having a lot of issues, my selected SDK had a red cross, so I'll show you how to sort that out if you get it. Um, my CLI wasn't up to date, and... What else was it? Oh yeah, and in Android, before I had downloaded Eclipse and did the SDKs that way, I was having red crosses on quite a few of these. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to update the CLI. So let's have a look. So if you want to ensure that the command line interface is up to date, then you can just type sudo npm install G titanium. So if I click enter there, what it's going to do is it's going to install the very latest CLI for titanium. But I'm not going to do that because it's just a waste of time because it's already installed. And if you want to update the SDK for titanium, then you just type titan titanium SDK install and then branch master default. <coughs> so what that's going to do is that's going to install the very latest Titanium SDK. And finally, 
if you have the issue that I mentioned a minute ago, where my selected SDK was wrong, then you, it's really simple. All you got to do is you put titanium select SDK, oh, let's see the way around, SDK select, type enter, and then all you'd have to do now is literally press enter again, and what it does is it makes the latest version the selected version. And for me, that sorted out one of the errors that I had. So you never know. It could just be something as simple as that. But show you again. What I find really helpful is TI setup. And then just go into check environment. You can easily check then what's going on. And if you come into here and you can see some red crosses, it gives you sort of a way to go with your debugging of seeing why things ain't set up. So yes, that, I find that really helpful. So finally, what I'm going to go through is something called ADB, and that's the Android Debug Bridge. So once you have installed um, the SDK tools for Android and stuff, in your library folder, you'll have this, Android SDK Mac OS X, right? So you come into here, go into Platform Tools, and then ADB, I'm not into iTunes, sorry. ADB, drag it into terminal, you get the path. If you type enter, then what you're going to get is you're going to get a all of the commands that you can run for this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a few of the commands that I've found helpful. So, if you want to see what devices are connected, you just have the path to ADB and type devices. And as you can see, I've got one device connected, and that is a Nexus 5. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect that, and then we'll run that command again. And you'll see there's nothing now, no device attached. So a lot of errors I find people get as well is um, Titanium isn't detecting the devices. So a quick thing you can do to debug is come here, run this command, and see if the... ADB is detecting the device, and if ADB isn't detecting the device as well as titanium, you know there's probably a problem with the connection, probably a problem with the, the device, or it's not connected to the right port, or something along that nature, but it, it just helps you narrow down a problem, really. Also, if you're finding the emulators aren't running, or they're crashing a lot, what you can do is you can come here, again, get to the path to ADB, and you can put kill server and then after you enter that put start server and that will just restart everything so as you can see it's saying not running and the daemon's been started successfully so then it gives you sort of a fresh start with with adb the last thing i'm going to show you is i'm going to plug the device back in actually let's check so it's detected the device and what we're going to do it's a command called log cat. So I've typed that in. What I'm going to do on the uh, phone now, I've got the phone in my hand, I'm just going to open an app. So you can see I've opened an app, and if I, I'm going to press the back button, and I know that in Titanium, when I press the back button, I've set it to just put a, a log statement. So that should show up in here in Terminal. So you can see, yeah, that's me. I'm tapping it constantly there. So yeah, so Logcat is quite helpful for, for obviously, for debugging an app. But yeah, so they're the things I wanted to go through. The next video is probably going to be about the action bar. Just go through a bit of that. And then the one following that will be about image resolutions and stuff. So yeah, so hope that was helpful to someone. Cheers.